Hi there. I think we've got it figured out, so I'm going to get Julie back on here. Apparently, when you go live, the person that you're inviting has to have their camera set up at the same angle as you. Who knew? Now we know. Now we all know. But I'm get, and I've got the tripod in the meantime. Might as well, right? That way I can see you guys. It says Julie's watching. I just sent her an invite, too, so hopefully she'll be able to accept it now that she and I have the camera at the same angle. Maybe I need to send her another one. Broadcast error. Approve. Add. Adder. We appreciate you guys working with us. This technology thing is amazing, right? That we could even have the possibility of doing all like this together and all being on. And there's Julie. I was just saying how amazing it is that this is possible. Yeah. I wish we one day we're going to get it down pat. <laughs> yeah. So the trick is when you're going live, you have to have your cameras at the same angle. So it's kind of cool. Now, if we did it the other way, where we were both long ways, it would be kind of cool because then it's like picture in picture. That's when you see the head up in the corner. You might have seen others with it like that. So that's kind of cool, too. We're going to do that next week when... Um, um, Andrea Dresner comes on and does some translating for us so that we're going to have our sleek recap with her doing the um, sign translation, which I think is going to be really cool. And that would be... We have three... Oh, you're doing the recap with her. Okay, yeah, I, I figure I'm doing the class here at my house. And there's I had a few people request um, a recap of it. I thought that's only fair because, I mean, how many people could come to my house in snowy, cold Michigan or want to? <laughs> right. So, yeah. So I figured that's one way That'll to do great. it. So for anybody that's joining us live tonight, we are excited to have you on. We're doing a So I've Got My Oils, Now What class. And this was written by our Royal Crown Diamond upline, the Schulers, just one of our Royal Crown Diamonds. But they've done an amazing thing in creating a website where these classes are available. So we've taken some of that information and kind of thrown in our own twist to it. And we asked you guys just the other day, what are some things that you love and some of the first things you purchase after you got your starter kit? So we'll incorporate some of your thoughts thoughts on that as well and um and help you guys just getting started to to really I because you're looking at these oils and you're like there's so much more to young living than these 11 oils I'm sure of it so now we're going to help you take it to the next step so take it away like Julie. 600 products right <laughs> exactly you know mm -hmm. all right Julie so, so I was just going to go ahead and start I you know I bought that little light for my camera and of course Leah I played with it so much late somewhere I can't find it <laughs> It just goes along with the rest of the night. So I'm going to try to light myself up as much as I Hi, can. Hi, you know, it's okay. Hi, Nina. Yeah. Hello. We always start off with an oil. You got an oil I've kind of been, I've been using thieves today. Thieves right here on this area, you know, on these areas. And actually, if this was Vitality, I also am putting a, Right back there in the deepest part of my throat. I've needed that extra little kick today. So that's what I've been using for most of the day to keep myself. And I've got um, joy. Oh. I've been really enjoying joy. Uh, it was, I think it was Amy Owens this morning suggested diffusing joy with thieves. And she called it joyful thieves, which really made me laugh out loud. That was funny. So I've been wow. diffusing that and wearing joy today. So that's what I've got. And, oh, I'm diffusing. I'm diffusing uh, Northern Black Spruce, and that's actually what I've been wearing, too. I love this stuff. Oh, it's, like, wonderful. Mm. Reminds me of outdoors in the wintertime, uh, but good things of it. So, anyway, that's what I'm putting on today. So, you guys, find your favorite oil and put it on so we can get started. Okay, and I think, you know what? Uh, you can't really see the graphics that we're going to be going through, but I think between us we have all the products. And so one of the first products, this is um, favorites and then runner-ups that they talk about on this uh, class. So the very first oil after your oil kit that these over a 1,000 people were polled, and this is what they, the list they came up with. So they start out with, and Leah, I don't, I couldn't find my bottle of it, Cedarwood. Wait, 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 before you go on, let's just put this cautionary yes. message in there. 
Open your okay. kit if you haven't opened it. <laughs> <laughs> How many people have we run across, Mom, that they have not used every oil even in their kit? So open it. Use them all. Go back to the class we did, what was that, 10 days ago now, where we showed you how to use every single oil in your kit. Go back to that if you haven't used them all. Make sure to lift that tray out. Get the stuff underneath. Use all the stuff you've got. And then... Come and watch this video because this is going to open your eyes to everything else that's awesome <laughs> about Young Living. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt, but that was like one of the things I thought, we better tell them that because there's a lot of people who just leave the box on a shelf. I was in a car group today and the, uh, the girl was saying something and I said, well, did you try this or try that? It's in your kit. She had gotten her kit a couple months ago, but she's been taking care of her mother too, so I... But anyway, she says, Julie, I just haven't been using it. I know that I should, you know, da, da, da. So there are people. It's, they're busy. Everybody's so busy. But some of the things that she's having to deal with would be supported very well by half of the oils in her kit. So I just can't tell her enough. And so I was passing my stuff around the car today, uh, showing her. Anyway, so, and we also should say this. We are not doctors. We are not telling you what to do or how to do it. And we are not trying to... Um, clinically say that we know that this is going to cure stuff or do anything else for you but we know that these products are wonderful and most of the stuff that we're going to talk about too are all oil infused so if we get into any of the supplements or anything like that they're oil infused which makes a really big difference between just regular supplements versus young livings but we'll get into that as we cross before there. you go into cedar so, wood, one more thing i was thinking of mentioning too and i know i just it just occurred to me you're looking at the notes from the oil revolution designs one and i pulled up the ones from yeah. the vital 181 but they're really similar um but it was a, yeah. another caution or not caution but like another note at the beginning of those slides that said um it's a really good thing to pull up or to get yourself some and, and you've talked about this and i think it comes up later some v6 to have a carrier oil handy um mason jars things that you can mix your your little remedies in this is a bath salt and then this was the sugar scrub that we made uh last week as well so mason jars and things to I make them in yes little yep. little pots to make lip balms in or or balms or salves for your body glass water bottles for the ones you're drinking um roller balls you always have those cute roller balls yeah i have those yeah all different kinds yeah mm -hmm. so or the you know it's funny i was in I was in Heinen yesterday, which is one of our uh, Cleveland, uh, Ohio uh, grocery stores. And of course, essential oils are all over the place, but they have these great little kits um, that has a three ounce spray bottle, a roller bottle, um, a little like spritzer for um, uh, like a perfume. If you wanted to make up a perfume, it had a couple little pots in there. It was an amazing little kit. I'm gonna buy them. I, I need to go back, but I was out in service. I didn't wanna do that. Um, for only seven ninety nine, wow. I'm telling you, some of those uh, the five ounce bottles with the sprayers, I pay three fifty for. Yeah. So it's a good deal. So look in your local store. Some of them are starting to really carry a lot of great stuff. Yeah, um, that you're not necessarily getting from Young Living. So if you're not, if it's not something you can get from Young Living, and some of those uh, items you can't. No, uh, the DIY stuff. Although they do have a nice little DIY kit. Yeah, now. that's true. But that's a whole different. That's a whole different class. <laughs> so, so some of the subjects we're going to go over are bath and body care, toxin free home, right? Um, cleansing, nutritional support. Even oils that you could use for cooking, oral care, pet care, skin care, supplements, and weight management. So take it away, Julie, yeah. with the top oils outside the starter kit. <laughs> okay, so the first one is cedar wood. That's what everybody voted on as being the number one thing that you would get once you got through your oils in the kit and you know what to use them and how to use them, then you would add cedar wood. So what is cedar wood good for? Well, on here it says that it's good for gorgeous, healthy hair. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, I need to make up one of the um, rollerball things with cedar wood in it with a couple other oils. Um, what is it, Melrose, Leah? Something to put in my hair to help uh, make it beautiful. Rosemary. Yeah, rosemary. Cedar wood Ro and rosemary. Rosemary. Yeah. Um, it's something I, that's on my to-do list for me um, because, you know, as I get older and things, you know, just aren't quite the same as when I was young. So I need to, you know, help my hair uh, with that thickness. 
So that's what it's good for. But it's also really good if you're using lavender to help you um, get a restful night's sleep. If you add a drop or two of cedarwood to that, you're out like a light. Yeah. I mean, that is like um, the, the most wonderful sleep, calm. Um, and you wake up in the morning, you'll actually be really refreshed because it helps your mind to rest and then wake up at the same time. So what do you have to say about cedarwood, Leah? Oh, uh, it's only $11 a bottle. No excuses. Buy it. <laughs> right? <laughs> and then like yeah. drops, lots yeah. of drops like this and rub it all over your skin before bed at night because it's amazing for skin. Um, it has, it's high in, forgive me if I butcher this, sesquiterpin. <laughs> Sesquiterpins, yes, yes. So it's high in sesquiterpins, which are amazing for your skin, amazing for brain function. So literally just rub it all over your face before you go to bed. And it's really general. I mean, like it's one of the ones that never really needs diluted. And it's, I mean, it's most people, even with the most sensitive skin, aren't bugged by cedarwood. And men, men tend to go towards it because it's a woodsy smell. It's a nice outdoorsy smell. And so they really enjoy it probably a little more than lavender. Yeah. So if they, they need help to calm down or get a good night's sleep, that would be the one to go to. I was listening to Jim Bob today, and he was talking about frankincense, cedarwood, and lavender as his go-to oils. They're next to his bed every day, every night. He was putting them on during his talk. Um, so he's, he's the go-to to cedarwood. I thought that was good. Okay, so the next one after cedarwood, that is, these are the runner-ups to the oils now, is orange tea tree and northern black spruce. Sure. Um, we all know orange is a citrus fruit, so it's uplifting. It tastes good in your water. Uh, you know, it does a lot of good things there. But I was going to spend a little time more on the northern black spruce because that's what I have diffusing. Uh, I love the smell. And this I also made as a spritz for my husband to put on, like, aftershave. Uh, it's just a wonderful, good smell. It's very grounding. Yeah. Um, so it just helps you uh, have a calm about yourself. Not the kind that uh, lavender would do to you, but just a calm, grounding, uh, centered feeling. Mm -hmm. So that's what I was going to say about that. The other one was tea tree and orange. Leah, do you have anything about these three? Um, and we're just going right now with singles, right? Favorite singles. Yeah, well, that's what's coming up. Yeah, yeah, favorite singles. I love orange. I love the citrus vitalities in my water. Those are some of my favorites mm -hmm. to put in my water every day. Um, when I'm feeling bluesy, there's nothing like that smell of orange to, to wake you up and brighten up your senses and make you feel alert and feel great. Um, th that was probably, if I had to pick a single outside of it, that might be one of my favorites. I love orange. And you took that picture last week yeah. of um, Charlotte smelling the orange. And I could literally <laughs> almost smell it through the... The camera, it was just so good. Um, today, I was out in the car group, and I had my little um, uh, diffuser plug in, my UBS one, and uh, I had lemon in it. And it was just enough to keep just enough, a hint of lemon in the car all the time to keep everybody happy and up, you know, uplifted. So that's a good one. One more you did. Um, so those are the three. Oh, one more you did what? mention, I was going to say, if I had to add to that would be uh, oregano. Oh, Yeah. Yeah, oregano is a powerful, powerful oil for many good yeah. things, although it stings, it's <laughs> and it's a, it's a really strong smell, but boy, um, down your spine during the winter, um, on the bottom of your feet, mm -hmm. you know, for a long time, I used to brush my teeth with oregano oil, and uh, it did a lot to help uh, keep my mouth supported. Uh, and then these came along, which taste a whole lot better. <laughs> so uh, people used to always tell me I smell like pizza every day uh, from using oregano. But I'll tell you, it's some good stuff. What do you use it for? Um, to support my immune system. So it's it, to say that, I guess that means I'm using vitality oils and be using them internally. But um, I also... Then, of course, there's the aroma of it. Maybe that's the way not to say it because it doesn't smell great. But you could rub it on the bottom of your feet. And, and yeah. then you get some of the um, wonderful effects of oregano oil for your system. <laughs> Excuse me. And you can use it. Sorry. In, uh, you can use that in cooking, too. But I'll tell you what. If you use yeah. oregano like in your, your um, sauces and stuff, one drop. You don't need any yeah. more. One don't drop. Don't take it. Really powerful. No. 
Yeah, and it's, you know, I, where you would be using several, maybe a teaspoon or two teaspoons of oregano of the dry, this literally one drop is all it yeah. takes. Good. Um, so you can use it for that. Um, so those are the runner-ups. The runner-ups to cedarwood were orange, tea tree, and most people know what tea tree is good for. It's a powerful, um, uh, you know, it, it's a powerful oil. <laughs> oh, and it's good for hair product too. It comes in a lot of hair products that you find on the shelves. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, you could always put it in your shampoos or, or whatever to help um, support your hair. So that's, those are the runner-up single ones. Now I'm going to go to the blends. And of course, guess what comes up first? What is it? Joy. 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 <laughs> oh, how do I how do I get it on there? I don't know where the camera is on here. <laughs> I'm going there. Isn't that like, funny? Oh, we both here. made sure to grab Joy. I love Joy. Yes. This was one. Yep, so. Somebody asked, said something the other day about um, stress away giving my headache when they first started using it. This was one that kind of gave me that same irritated feeling. You'd think joy would make you happy, but the more I used it, the more I started to love it. And I think it took me about a month, and now it's one of my absolute favorite oils. I love joy. Yeah. Yeah, that was you, Lori. That's right. That was Lori that said that. Yeah. Stress away. Right. I, didn't want to I know. I heard that. I, didn't I, want to own it. <laughs> I never heard that before. But you know what? All of our systems are different. You know, they're all different. So what works for one, you just try another. Oh yeah. You know? And if that's the case, so, generally the problem isn't the oil. We forget that oils do things to our emotions, right? Yeah. That's they do things to our emotions. They're 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 clearing out um, emotional receptor sites as well. So start low and go slow applying it to the bottom of your feet, even diluted if you have to until your body gets accustomed to it. And you will be able to use these oils with a lot of benefit. I would not chalk it up as you can't use it ever. I would just figure out a different way for your system to be able to use it. If you've been under a lot of stress for a lot of years, that could happen with stress away. But do you not need to get the stress away? Enjoy. Yeah. yeah, you need. To I have a story about Joy, when I first got my kit, Joy was in the kit, so was Valor, and I was told, you know, use those for what I was concerned with, and so I was wearing, I was wearing Joy, I would put it all over, but I would wear it in a cotton ball under my sleeve, so it was against my skin all the time, and, you know, every time I'd go anywhere, I was, I was sniffing it, and I did that for like three days in a row, right after getting into oils, I mean, this was like my first three days, and remember, I called you. I couldn't listen to music. I couldn't watch a commercial. And I was sobbing. I was just a wreck. I was crying. I was so emotional. I'm thinking, what the heck? Well, the only thing that had really changed was that I was using joy. And so I literally had to nix it off for a couple weeks and then start slow, slow <laughs> and do it, you know, the right way for my body. So it is a, a really, it's a happy oil. Yeah. It really is a happy oil, but it does work on your emotions. And yeah. In fact, that's why I got my oils and it worked. Right. And we do, we need that sometimes, you know, in the naturopathic world and especially like the Ayurvedic world, they recognize how much of our health stems from our emotions. So we really do need yeah. to treat our emotions you know, for what they are and give our body and our mental health that kind of assistance. Sorry. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping and this is totally off track. This is totally because Jen Bostick, your friend, she's a YL. Yeah. She just took her class on the emotional healing. Yeah. And I was supposed to do it with her, but I chickened out. I chickened out. I just, you know what? It was in November. It was just too much going on and I couldn't handle it. But I really do want to get back with her. Yeah. Because I know it works. Yeah. And she knows which oils to use, when and how, and yeah. how to expel, whatever. So I really would like to get back with her to do that. Okay, so Joy is a really, really popular one with most women. Leah, can I tell the story? Is it compliant to tell your story with it before we move on? How you hate it. You really did not like it. I don't see how it's At not. all. Yeah. And then you said, I mean, a couple weeks later, you tried it because you had just either started or got off your period. And then once you, sorry, man, if you're on here. Uh, but the closer you were to your period, the more you liked the smell. And then after you got done with it and everything, you didn't like it again. So mm -hmm. it's a hormonal oil. Yeah. Uh, it, and it does play on emotion. So just know if you don't like it at one time in the month, just maybe try it a couple weeks later and see how you like it then. True. So that's joy. Let's see. Okay. So the next three that are blends it talks about are Progescence Plus. Oh. Endoflex. Yes. 
and abundance. Yes. I'm going to stay away from abundance because I don't, I didn't bring it out here, but I did bring Endoflex. And you guys know what this looks like, I'm sure. And this is Progestins Plus. Oh, do you have it? I love these. These sit next to my bed. I use them every night. I use this one every night and every morning. So uh, these are my companions. <laughs> I love them. So why do we love them, Leah? Um, well, Progestins Plus is um, a happy oil for a whole different reason. And I, I'm, it actually has um, compounded wild yam, which is where they get the progestins or the progesterone from. So you actually have progesterone in there. The difference is in the entire bottle, you have a, the equivalent to what you get from like one pump from one of those progesterone creams. And some people would say, well, that means it's less effective. Totally not true. Those progesterone creams actually start to build up in your system and there's some danger. So there's, there's some general studies that, that point out that there may be some danger associated with those. And, and really, we don't want to add hormones to our system in abundance. That doesn't help our body produce its own hormones. So what they've done with Progestins Plus is giving you a little bit of shot of those hormones, plus all the essential oils that work on the different hormones and the different levels in our system to support those. And you put it on as a serum, and it clears out the receptor sites so that your body does what it's supposed to. It's not throwing off the hormonal balance. It's not you know, kicking a bunch of hormones into your system for your already taxed body to have to, to process. It's giving you just a gentle little boost where you need it. And I just, it, and it smells amazing. I usually use it every morning when I wake up and at night before I go to bed. I usually put it on my forearms, rub them together, and it soaks in almost instantaneously. You don't have to worry about, like, it transferring onto the sheets and onto your husband. Because and it's a good smell. It's a nice mm -hmm. smell. It's a nice, relaxing smell. And it does help with sleep, too. It helps yeah. calm it down. I don't know why. But you know what? Progesterone is known, even if you yep. are on stuff from the doctor. That's what it helps you to do. It helps you sleep. Yeah. And uh, it helps you get regular, too. Yeah. It, it does because all that tied together, all those hormones. Well, it's, you know, what to go along with it. What happens, too, is when our body's under stress, the same hormone that yes. you used to make progesterone is what you used to make cortisol, but it, it's going to give preference to cortisol. So we need that, especially when we're under stress, just to give our body kind of that steadiness. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Progesterone Plus uh, has been a friend of mine. That was another one that I bought very soon after Lori, uh, I got started. For, if it's for people that have, are postmenopausal, it's for, like, women from age 12 to 99. <laughs> yeah. Now, some of the ones may use it, the younger ones may use it, like, right before when they're, like, they're, everything's crashing right before they start. They might use it before that, mm -hmm. um, maybe not for the whole month. you got to practice with your body and see what's going to work. Mm -hmm. um, I am postmenopausal. I use it every – I only use it at night, though, Leah. Uh, and I do put it on my forearm, and it keeps me from – you know, all those things that bug you after you're postmenopausal. Okay. And so, for, but for somebody younger, you just have to test to see right. what it is. They know their bodies better than the doctors. All, you know, they know how they're feeling. So they can tell by, you know, I start out with a drop, one drop. Right. And then um, go from there. Do you want me to talk a little about abundance? I forget what else you um, I was going to, I, I uh, go ahead. You can talk. I didn't bring abundance out. Endoflex was the other one. Endoflex. You'll talk about endoflex. Um, abundance. Just real quick. It, it's this is another oil that's an emotional oil. Um, the problem with so many of us is we've lived with such a regulated. I don't want to say poverty mindset, but that's kind of the that's the word Sarah Harness uses, right? We have this poverty mindset. It, and it's not that we've even been poor forever, but we've been so restricted that we don't sometimes see the abundance that's coming into our lives and the good things that are flowing to us, and we're cutting them off in a sense. So abundance is an oil that literally is helping us open ourselves up to the good things coming our way. I mean, some people are like, oh, they hear abundance, they think money. We're talking friendships, um, positive, healthy relationships. 
Uh, it could be finances. It could be whatever it is that we've kind of put a wall up and in many ways blocking ourselves from. Um, so abundance is a great one for that. This is the one that a lot of my team uses. They'll diffuse it um, at their essential oil parties. They diffuse it at their vendor events. And if you are racing for a new rank right now, frankly, this is the oil to wear. And I wore it every single day to hit silver and I was gifting it to people. And I mean, I was splashing abundance all around me because, and, and it wasn't just about money. It was about that feeling of not restricting myself in my mindset of, you know, you know what you think it ought to be, but opening yourself up to the possibilities. Gary Young, when he started the company, that was one of the first oils that he did. And he put it into paint that he used. Do you ever hear that story? No. I, I mean, I got I the CD, that. but he put it into paint that he used to paint the office walls. And then he had his secretaries, all of them, they put it on top of the phones. Uh -huh. And when they'd answer the phone, it would always be there. And he said, he believes that's what took his business off. Yeah. <laughs> but um, whatever, uh, a lot of it is the belief if it works or not. This is but I love it. It's the best smelling smell. I can't tell you what's in it really, but I know it's a wonderful smell. Yeah, it's good. So I'm going to go on to Endoflex. Um, what is Endoflex? Uh, I don't know, but I know where I put it. I'll just tell you. I put it over the area of my pancreas and my gallbladder and my liver. I do that every night um, to help support them. Um, recently, uh, for the last week or so, I've been putting it here on my throat where like my thyroid, thyroid would be so it would support that area because your thyroid is very, very uh, important. Uh, I, I guess it's an organ. I don't know if it's an organ, but it regulates everything in your body. So if you've got things that are like getting off whack or whatever, I don't know. This is what I use and I put it right there. So um, it's something that I do have next to my bed and use every single night. Leah, can you be more compliant? I don't know how to say stuff. <laughs> You know, it's a really good point that you're making, too, is how to stay compliant. And forgive me for taking another little side note here. If it's a vitality oil, um, the FDA says that you're taking it internally. They can relate that if it's an internal use, then it then it relates yes. to some organ or system of our body. Supporting something. Yes. yes. And, and this is why I was tripping up with the oregano oil. Because if it's a vitality oil I'm using, I could talk about how it supports my systems. If it's yeah. something we're using externally, topically, essentially it's cosmetic. So it's a perfume or it's makeup. This is how they visualize it all or this is how they kind of categorize it all. So in that sense, we wouldn't talk about how it supports the system. But we know how essential oils work, how they affect us just by smelling them, how they affect us by literally absorbing through our skin. So if we show you a red bottle and we say now also the vitality, it's because we want to be able to talk compliantly about all that the oil can do from both aspects. Endoflex so, is one of those that is a vitality. So you weren't wrong in saying that. She can use it yeah. internally to support her body. You rub it on the outside, maybe because you like the fragrance, but you could also, <laughs> you could put a drop or two under your tongue and have all those effects of it supporting your system or rub it on your body. Okay. So either yeah. way. Yep. Yeah, it's so hard. <laughs> but it is a wonderful little thing. A couple drops under your tongue help support all your body systems, yeah. everything, your cardiovascular, uh, your thyroid, your, so that's your endocrine system, all those things this is wonderful yeah. for. So um, anybody who's in that same age bracket of like 45 to to my age 60 you know even beyond this is a wonderful wonderful oil to help yep. support that's things <laughs> okay so that's endoflex progestins plus in abundance those are must-haves uh and they pretty much in that order are, are what how i got those oils after my kit and when so, that class was written through um oil revolution design we did not have yes. peace and calming and valor, which would no doubt have made the tops of those lists. Absolutely. But it was out of stack for so, so long. But you know what? I was going to do extras because I'll tell you what, these were in our kit. 
at the time. Joy, Valor, and Peace and Calming were all in the kit back when we started. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, I still use these every single day. Yeah. Um, Peace and Calming just tells you what it's for and what, how to use it. And, and yes, it does smell amazing. And in fact, uh, Lori, I think that somebody mentioned that to you when you said you didn't care for Stress Away. Do you use Peace and Calming instead? I, I actually like this smell better. I really do. I love this stuff. And in Valor, Valor is, um, I, I don't know what to say, it, but it's for courage. It's to give you courage. There's a story behind Valor and why it was made and how the Roman army used to slather different things on to give them courage to go out to battle. Well, I go out battling every day, it seems like, on the pavement. And so I use this to help me uh, face the people. So I love Valor. But anyway, those are off subject, but they would have made the list, I am sure. Okay, so the next one that comes up, Leah, is, I didn't take it out of here, oh. Deep Relief. Yes. I have so many bottles of this, and of course, I couldn't find one open, so I just brought this one out. But Deep Relief is the next one, which is a favorite. It's not a runner-up. And so this lady on here says, I keep it in my purse and my gym bag. I never run out of it. I use it to give myself a mini massage uh, by rolling on the nap of my neck. In fact, it's funny, yesterday I was uh, out in a car group, and I was with Michael Sims. And Mike came out just for like an hour and he said that he, um, he just needed, well, I rubbed it on his head <laughs> and I rubbed it on his temples and he was such a happy camper and he went to work and texted me back and said, I love that stuff. It, it worked well. Awesome. So <laughs> he had a little uh, it's a really, really good one for tension. Yeah. Your muscles tension after a hard workout. If you rake the yard too long, you shoveled snow and all that. It's really good for it. Awesome. So, do you use that? Uh, deep relief. Yes. I think. Okay. I had one in my bag, but it's not there. So I'm thinking Teddy took it. He went to work, um, play basketball tonight. So he probably took it. Oh, along with the cool Azul. Yeah. He throws it's that in his gym bag. Oh, yeah, you know what? That's not on this list either because the new Cool Azul Pain Relief Cream yeah. came out afterwards, but I know this would have been on there too. Yeah. Um, so this goes along with it, but this is the Pain Relief Cream that you can rub on any areas, muscles, sore, tight joints, everything. Can you support? This is it. Yeah. Um, I, I don't have a lot of pain all the time, but it is half empty. I use it. Yeah. I use it on my knee. Oh. Can I say where? Yeah, yeah because it works, you for, it works for all kinds of arthritis pains, and I think it says that on the bottle. I can say that. It's awesome. I can say that. You can, yes. All right, I was checking, but we don't need to. It's great stuff. If you don't have that stuff, that's something in your arsenal. And anybody that you know that is of age, what's that one? This one I did. Uh, this is another one I keep in my bag. Oh, believe, yeah, Breathe that's what again. I was going to show. That's the next one. Those are the next ones. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Breathe again. Yeah. And you use that for? <sighs> so I keep, what do you, I can keep breathing easy. I usually rub it here. You know, sometimes, especially if you're in a, a place where the air feels stuffy and I don't know, I don't, I don't have um, even like any breathing problems. So I can, I can tell you that honestly, and I still love it. This one I think smells better to me than RC. And it has, um, it has a uh, Laurel Nobilis or Nobilis in it. So it's kind of yeah. a little lemony ever since. I, I like this one a lot. And it's, it really, I think the name says it all, what it's good for. Um, and then it's got the standard eucalyptuses and peppermints in them too. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I like the way it And it's an easy roll on. They come in a roll on. It's already pre-mixed and everything for you. You just roll it on, carry it in your purse. So I don't have the roll-on stress away because you get more in a regular bottle. And I just put a roller ball on it if I want. So this is what I usually get. But on this graphic that I'm looking at, it has tranquil, breathe again, and stress away roll-on. So yeah. we know what stress away can do for us. Uh, the name tells you it all. And so because it comes in the kit, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. But if you're not using it... Um, Listen to Leah once uh, when she talks about hiding herself in the bathroom away from her children for just a minute with a stress away break. She's pouring in her hair and rubbing it on her face. It really does work though. <laughs> so, and then there's Tranquil. That's a good one. Tranquil is also on a roller ball, and so it's already pre mixed. It's got lavender. What else does this have in it? Let's see. Um, da, 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 da. I think it's got so chamomile small. in it. 
I could, and cedarwood too. Yeah. So it's cedarwood, lavender, Roman chamomile, yeah. and then the coconut oil. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so it's already pre-mixed to rub on your back, on your neck, um, you know, in areas and your big toe for your head to help you have a good restful sleep. And if you've got a child who comes in from and he's just so wired out, he's had too much candy or whatever makes him a little more active than you like, you know, put some of this on and help him to help himself to settle down. Yeah. And sometimes I get uh, pain. Um, I get irritating and tight twitches in my muscles. <laughs> Try it, guys. I'm trying. Can you rub them? Yeah, on the back of your legs. Right. Tranquil's my favorite one for that. It really, really helps it calm down and just relax and smooth it out. Yeah. 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 It's great stuff. Um, I was going to say too. You know, I used to have a client uh, when she. That's all she bought for me was Tranquil. Yeah. For her son. For her son. And she would buy it like two bottles a month. Oh. And uh, she did it for a long time. Yeah, she loved that stuff. So um, anyway, uh, that is uh, that's on the runner-up list. So now I'm going to go on to um, the next ones, which are the massage oils. Mm -hmm. I don't. I never, ever, ever want to be without these massage oils. I lend massage oil. I give out these massage oils that are kind of doctored up with other oils um, to people. Uh, it's the number one thing that I do. So what do I have? My favorite, Ortho Ease. That's my absolute favorite. And then Ortho Sport comes right behind it. Now, there's only a couple ingredients that are different from another. And Leah, I don't know which one's which, but one of them has like marjoram in it and the other one has something else it's not marjoram i forget what it is i can't read it it's too small and this one's wore off so but these i use to put in these little plastic containers um as samples for people i gave my our ceo's in town so i gave her a whole little kit oh, today of stuff really? and Lucky one of them is this i i, I did I, I filled it up to here with um ortho ease and then on top of that, I put like four drops of pan away, a couple drops of peppermint, uh, wintergreen. I made it, I made her a really great oil um, to use for just about anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, she could rub it on her, her back or her shoulders after a long day or whatever. And that's what these are for. They're massage oils. But they're already got some powerful oils in them. They have thyme and eucalyptus, vetiver. Um, let's see, another eucalyptus. They have wintergreen, peppermint. So this already is doctored up. Mm -hmm. So I use this to just make a, a even more potent oil to yeah. give to people. And you could do that. Mix and match and don't let anybody ever tell you you can layer on too much because I mean if, if it's working for you, use it. It's gonna be far better for you than something that's petroleum based. Right. Yeah. The, if for, if for anybody who, oh, I'm sorry, Leah. I was just going to say, you had said something. I'm not sure of the differences. I'm not sure of the ingredients differences either, but sport, think muscles. Ease, yes, right. think bone. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Sport has oregano where the other one has marjoram. And this also is better. Oh, and it has lemongrass. Mm -hmm. So lemongrass, we all know, is really uh, good for muscles. Muscles, right? So sport, think muscles. <laughs> ease, think bone. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And it says relief right on the thing. So you're going to get relief. But you know what? If there's anybody on here who is actually working the business, I do not go to any parties or events without these. I take either Orthosport or the Ease, and I use them. And if people will let me get to their shoulders even a little bit, I will put that um, on their shoulders for them. And I'm telling you, they if I'm at an event, they'll come back to me and say, wow, that really worked. Exactly. And if they're at a house, they want more, and that's the first thing on their order yeah. uh, afterwards. So I never go to a party without it because it's such a good sales point. Yeah. Anyway, um, because it works. And it smells like a gazillion okay, times so better than Ben Gay. <laughs> Exactly. Yes. Yeah, that's true. And it, you know what? Even It does have kind of a smell when you first put it on. People are worried, oh, I don't want to smell like that. But it absorbs in so quickly. Literally, like eight minutes later, you don't smell it anymore. We're Ben Gay up to an hour. You're smelling that smell. You yeah. smell like an old person. Yeah. So, okay. So it's got... It's You're going to always get out of tea from us here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am an old person. I can say that. Um, okay. So the next one. <coughs> Excuse me. 
<clears throat> is the art skincare. So we're kind of moving beyond the oils now and, and getting past those. Those are the oils that out of a thousand people, they say that we should uh, have in our arsenals to, um, in our cabinets to be using on a daily basis or when you need. So now we're trying to transition kind of into some other products, which is the art care, mm -hmm. the art skin care. And so Leah, I know you said that you love you love the gentle cleanser. I haven't really used it, to be honest. <laughs> so I use the, uh, I like the um, orange blossom scrub or facial wash. I love that stuff. I do. And so that's what I really use. And then I use it along with the toner. The toner, I'm telling you, I have, um, I have big pores. And so this stuff has really helped. It seems like to close them up and kind of get rid of them, mm -hmm. uh, this toner. So I really do like that after I, and I am trying to get in a routine of washing my face every night to get the makeup off. I, I'm really lazy about that, but I've been really trying to do that. So what do you think about the um, cleanser, Leah? Yeah, I actually first bought the Orange Blossom face wash and I used an entire bottle of it and then bought another one. Um, and then shortly after that, I finally made the investment in the art skincare system, the, the trio. And that's when I realized that I actually liked the art face wash better. And, and the reason why is I don't have very oily skin. In fact, if it leans any way, I'd say it leans more towards being dry. And I felt like the art, um, the art face wash was better for dry, drier skin. So let that kind of be, you You have, that's why she doesn't have wrinkles because she has an oilier skin than I do, which is awesome. <laughs> She's like, what, are you going to be 60 next month? Yeah, 60 next month. She's going to be 60. Like, like look, at, I, I got more wrinkles than she does than I'm 20. <laughs> two years younger than her. So anyways, that's not dry, drier skin. I would say definitely go with the art face wash. Although you could use the art face wash for really any skin type, but the orange blossom would be great for um, a young teenager, somebody with oilier skin, um, anything like that. You can't go wrong with either one, but I noticed that I, I felt like it was more moisturizing. Yeah. And I have to say, it took me, you know, I've been doing this almost four years and it took me three years before I started getting in the art. You know, I was busy. <clears throat> First of all, I was busy getting all the oils that I wanted to help me emotionally, physically, all that. And so when I got done with that, then I started, you know, changing over the cleaning products in the house, which we're going to get to too. But, you know, so I really went to get out all the bleach and all the junk and get into thieves. And so I went that route. So the, the, the art, you know, the facial stuff and all that was the last thing that I added in. And now that I have, I love it. I really do love it. And see, and, and I know that one of our, our, our uh, resident, I don't even know how to say it, esthetician, yeah. uh, Dana. Dana loves this share loom. Yeah. It's very, it's supposed to be really good for um, color, discoloring on your mm -hmm. face and different stuff like that. But for me, this is too thick. I have oily skin. I have really oily skin. So this is too thick for me. But for some people that have drier skin, I'm sure it's wonderful. And I'll tell you, the smell. It smells good. I mean, you smell frankincense, just oh, in, okay. in the frankincense and whatever else is in it. I'm not even sure, but it's uh, it just smells so good. But it's too thick for me. So somebody who has a little oilier skin, I love this Art Moisturizer. And not that we're going to talk makeup because we're not, but I use this. I use a couple pumps of this in my hand. And then I put the, um, I have warm number two that I put in my hand and I mix it up to make my um, liquid makeup. Because I, I mean, I use the brush too, but I really like liquid makeup and this is what I use to make it. But I, and it's just light and it's, it soaks in and absorbs so quickly. I love it. Sabrina so says she needs to order, order more. She just ran out. Sabrina, I ordered on Amazon a little tiny baby squeegee so I could get in and scoop out all the little bit stuff because I'm running out too. Yes. <laughs> I like the, um, the I know. that moisturizer and I use the Art Intensive Moisturizer at night. Um, especially this time of year, I need it. And then that sheer loom or the sheer loom a, um, I really like to use it, especially like in the fall, because what I notice is like, I have a lot of freckles. And so in the summertime, they seem to come out more. And as they fade away, I just want to take good care of my skin and make sure that, you know, I don't want to end up with age spots and all kinds of things as I grow older. So something that evens out my skin tone would be, you know, great to use for upkeep in the fall. 
Yeah, I was thinking about because I'm starting to notice a few over here again, uh, age spots. And so I was going to just dab it. I was going to try to do like a test on my face on just one side yeah. and just dab it on those areas and see after like four weeks if there's a, you know, I, I want to do that. They have so those are, the, those are the ones. There's an oil in it that's not in any other product. It's like magnolia oil or something. White, white magnolia. Um, it doesn't say on the bottom. It doesn't say on the thing itself. Something it special that yeah. like literally is designed for skin lightening. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to try that. I do like the smell of it. I like the smell of all the yeah. stuff. And all these things are oil infused again. So it's taking it in. It's taking it in. It's absorbing into your skin. And not only that, the oils are taking it deep into the cells. Mm -hmm. um, that's different than any other makeup out there. Yeah. You know, it, Jim, was, Jim Bob was talking today about vitamins, but you could say it about any of the products that have the oils in it, that if you're taking a vitamin over the counter, like a regular over the counter vitamin, um, he said that you are only getting maybe 15 to 50, per, no, 15 to 30 percent of the nutritionist value of that vitamin. But when you are taking Young Living vitamins, even though they're a lesser um, milligram or NGL or whatever than a, a vitamin over the counter, he said because the oils that are in it, we are getting 50 to 85 percent of the nutritious value because the oils are getting it into our cells where the other stuff doesn't get there because they don't have the oils. Mm -hmm. So it's just, it's awesome. It's just awesome. So he said, even though our, you know, people will say, but why don't you have this amount in there? This one's got so much more because the oils do the work by taking it into the cells. Yeah. So anyway, same with the uh, art program. When you put the moisturizer on, it's taking it deep into those cells and help cleaning them up and, and making them work better for us, plumping us up, you know, whatever. Yeah. So I love this stuff. I really do. It took me a long time to get to that. Um, and we don't expect you guys just to go out and buy all this stuff and just fill your house. Although if you can do it, that's your deal. But I mean, it's taken us time to eat, you know, add things as we go. But these are the things that have really topped the list for everybody. So after that comes multi greens. Oh, we're getting Sorry. into the supplements? This yes, is my we favorite. are. It stands alone by itself as a favorite, multi greens. It's the first supplement. So, what do you talk about that, Leah? Well, first of all, like I people talk it. about, like if they like couldn't live without oils, what's the one oil that they would keep? For me, I it took me a year to discover Young Living supplements, and partly because it's my own stubbornness and my husband working at the uh, health food store. I thought, really, could it be that much better? OMG, yes, it is. It is a lot better. And whether it's what Jim Bob says, if it's the seed to seal promise, I didn't care why. All I knew was it worked and it worked a lot better. And you know what? I have to say this. Her father does own the health food stores. Her husband is the buyer. She can get all the free products that she wants. And yet she spends her hard earned buck to buy these, oh, buy these supplements. Why? Because they work. Yeah. I bought from... Yeah. From the health food store, for example, I'm using greens as the example right now and why multi greens is better. Yeah, I don't have um, a wheat allergy, but a lot of them have wheatgrass in them and some people are super sensitive to them. But it didn't seem to matter. I bought their best quality one according to the lady that was working that day. And it was making my um, like allergies break out. So my eyes were red and itchy and the one I got from the store and that's, that's what she thought it was from was either the barley grass or the wheat grass that was dried in there. And I thought, this is the saddest thing. All these people in the world are trying to take it and they're thinking greens are bogus. So I bought a different one and like literally no effect except for it kind of turned my poo green. I mean, but like otherwise no effect. Multi greens. I can't take before I go to bed. Not even one of them before bed. Because I won't be able to sleep because it gives me energy. It helps me feel alert, awake. It helps me feel less crabby. And this might be TMI, but it's good for sex drive. I just said that in front of my mom. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, I got to take at least six yeah, today. But if I do that consistently, I definitely notice a difference. No, you know what? I was taking three for like a month. I was taking three a day and it's not, I felt okay. I, I noticed that I didn't feel that I had to take a nap because I am a napper. I've been a napper all my life, but I felt like I could make it through that without a problem. Uh, you know, 
and I did, but I started taking six. And when I started taking six, it was a total different story. It's that I could feel the energy. I felt the goodness. I just felt it going through my body. Here's what it says here. Multi greens have boosted my all day energy levels and supported healthy immune and digestive systems. I, I need all the digestive help I can get. And he, Dr. Uh, Jim Bob had a whole talk on these. Um, if I run out, I notice a dramatic difference immediately. And I'm to that point now. I've been taking them for long enough that if, when I don't take them, I don't run out, but I might run out of the house and forget to take the extra three. Then I do notice. Uh, they're wonderful. The greens are wonderful. And there's no way we can eat the amount of greens that it's even in one of those pills in the course of a day. You'd be eating, you know, chewing on celery all day long and not getting the same amount as one. Yeah. So it's just, uh, you know, the food that we have in this system just isn't what it was even 50 years ago. He said 100 years ago, but really 50 years ago, food was completely different, much more nutritious. We don't have that anymore. So we have to supplement to give our bodies what it needs. So that's that's where we're at. So multi-greens is the number one thing that I have on my uh, list every single month. Yeah. Um, I, I order it every single month. I think you do too, Leah, huh? Yeah, um, just real quick, Monica pointed out that some celiacs cannot take it. Um, because of either yeah. the barley grass or the wheat grass in it, I forget which one. Um, if you want to risk it, you know, if you yeah. have celiacs, because it depends on your own severity and your own system, and you choose to take it, call Young Living if you have any problem. They are really great about having you send it back if you want some reimbursement. Jim Bob said, Jim Bob said today on this thing that I watched that um, if you're the type of person that looks at a loaf of bread, or looks at anything, you know, that has wheat in it and you start breaking out, don't take it. But yeah. he said that it's such a low and it's such a good quality, whatever it is that they use in there, it's a better quality than you're going to find in any yeah. other vitamins. Uh, so he said, test it, yeah. you know, just test it. You're going to know right away if it's something you can take or not yeah. take, you know, don't t start off taking six, right. you know, but you know, true celiac people, but some mm -hmm. people are just like hyper to it. And he said, well, whatever, go listen to it. Go to Jim Bai. Yeah. He's got so many good things out there right. about that. Yeah. So, and, and there are, there's people on different, if you just prefer to eat gluten-free, that it doesn't relate to you at all. That's, it's not going to cause a problem. But if you do have um, an intense case of celiac, it's something to consider. But one more thing for all the rest of us, it has Melissa oil in it. So like Cedarwood, mm. you can't get a better deal than this. Get yourself some multigreens. Oh, Lori's husband yeah, heard me say that good. about taking multi-greens. Now he's going to insist that you take some, Lori. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and every life, they should get their husbands to listen to it. Okay, so here we are. Uh, these are the runner-ups to multi-green. Our inner defense, which I know you love. You've mm -hmm. gotten me to take it now. Uh, longevity, which we don't hear a lot about, uh, longevity. And then, of course, here it's life five, but we're going to say life nine. Yeah. So you talk about inner defense, Leah. Um, inner defense, because nobody wants to have to sit and fill capsules full of oregano oil. So take inner defense right. instead. And it's a deal. It's yeah. got these and, and, and actually I think it has both kinds of oregano oil in it. The other ones that starts with oregano P, whatever it is, that's in there. So just throwing that out there that take it. I actually generally try to take two a day. Sometimes I slack off and I'm taking one a day. Some people tell me that you get a little burp up from it and you have to take it with food. That's what I had to do in the beginning. Um, now I can actually take it on an empty stomach with no problems. And I think part of it is your system either gets used to it or it's actually doing something in your guts, which is a whole nother story. And so that's why you're getting some of that. Um, Cause I don't get that anymore, but it also really, I, I can't go without it. I, I can't tell you the testing that I've actually done on my system through the doctor um, while using inner defense to say how much it's helped me, but it's worked on my system in an amazing way to help keep it in balance. And I don't just mean my immune system. I mean, this is. Yeah, it, but it is it, immune system protection. Um, it's, and it's called inner defense for a reason. But let me read some of the things that are in it. I, I didn't realize that all these were in it. Thieves, they have thieves in it. Uh, uh, extra clove, they have lemon, eucalyptus, rosemary, cinnamon bark, uh, a super blend of oregano. So those are the two oreganos you're talking about. Thyme. Lemongrass. I mean, those are some powerful oils yep. all in one capsule. Let me look at this. If you guys don't know, 
They're, they're like the uh, size of a fish oil cap. So they're about that big. I don't Sometimes know if, if I eat that. too much sugar, I have a problem with my system. And yeah. it really, it's, it's a systemic issue. Um, and not that inner defense cures anything, but I feel like it helps keep things in check and in balance so that um, my own system can, can keep its balance on, on other areas that would overtake it. Is that okay? Yeah. I, I'm afraid that we could do a whole class on this other stuff, so I don't know if I'm going to talk about it. But right. when I talk, they do have Life 9 here. Where is it? Where I know, right? Because oh, we're not even talking about thyromine, and you know that's my absolute number one favorite. I know. So maybe we should do what our favorites are next time because yeah. this goes with the whole line of digestive stuff. And I use yeah. everything digestive. It's on my order every single month. Um, the month that they were giving the essential zyme fours away as the freebie, yeah. I got it twice because yeah. I just knew it was worth the, worth ordering it. So, but here for this case tonight, it's talking life nine, uh, which is a probiotic, which everybody who eats food <laughs> needs a probiotic. Uh, they, they, you just do. It's so good for your gut to rebalance, not rebalance, but to help with the supporting the good bacteria yeah. uh, and keeping the bad bacteria down to a level. Yeah, um, right. And so you take your inner defense in the morning and you take that at night. We're talking about good gut bacteria balance. Yes. And it helps, to, you know, it helps you assimilate your food too and get the nutrients out of your food that you really do need. So I, I just, I take this and I do take it at night. And it makes me feel so good. Mm -hmm. By morning, I feel so good. And you can go to the bathroom with it, too, really easy in the morning. <laughs> I had somebody tell me that the other day. They say, I love that probiotic. I just, <laughs> Monica, so, that can be taken so many ways. <laughs> because... and, it's so, and it's also infused with oils. And so the oils take it deep into the system that it needs to go into to do the work that it's supposed to do. And so that's why we take this in everybody. This should be in everybody's order every month. It really should. So longevity, I'm not going to get off on that, but that is another good uh, potent uh, blend of oils in a capsule already made for us. Mm -hmm. um, one day, I hope that they come out. I was thinking that today. Um, what was it? Oh, I'll think about it. It'll come back to me. Okay, so the next line, the next product is home cleaning, and it's talking about thieves. Mm -hmm. Um, in this case, the picture is Thieves Cleaner. It actually has the old bottle, too, the old brown bottle. Me too. <laughs> but Thieves Cleaner. There you go. I don't think I brought mine out here. Uh, I just grabbed so everything that was close. <coughs> how do you use Thieves Cleaner? I don't. What do I, I not use the other Thieves room? Cleaner for? Literally, I grabbed, I just, literally, I, I didn't go upstairs even. I grabbed everything that was, like, around my table. <laughs> Yeah. Or in my kitchen. So, although it's talking about these cleaner, you know, I was just reading right before I got on here. You I looked up again. All I did was say, I said, okay, Google, what are the top 10 things that are horrible in your house? Uh, the chemicals in your house. And of course, the list came up and right away, you had all the cleaning supplies that you know, most people use on a daily basis. All those can be replaced. There's no carcinogens. There's no endocrine disruptors. There's no anything bad in Thieves Cleaner, except that it cleans really well. So it's just, it, it can take place everything that's uh, bad underneath your cupboard. It can take that away and use it. So it says, I use Thieves Cleaner on everything, granite, hardwoods, glass, bathrooms, and even to pre-treat uh, stains on my clothes. A little goes a long way. It's a concentrated formula. So we all know that. And I think a lot of us have Thieves Cleaner now. Yeah. And that is a number. After you get through getting your arsenal of oils, um, start cleaning up your environment in your home. It's a really good thing. Good place to start. Absolutely. Yes? Yep. And then I'm just going to go off a little. I know you had everything there. I love the soap. I love, 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 love this. The mouthwash is good for gargling. It's good for rinsing your mouth. It's good for all kinds of things. It's a very potent one. And I'm telling you, I can't even do a half a cap okay. And I have to put a little water with it. It's really, really strong. So this bottle, although it may seem strong, uh, small, lasts forever. Yeah. It really does. And then, of course, these toothpaste. I love these toothpaste. So, and I saw your products there too, Leah. Do you have a favorite? Um, I keep the big bottles of hand sanitizer in my car, in my minivan, wow. right? Because I have little mm -hmm. kids and we go places. I mean, do I need to explain more than that? I, this, no. I actually <laughs> take the big 
container of this stuff and refill this bottle, even though I think what was in here was different. And this is like more of a to-go thing, but I keep this on my on my counter with the stuff in it and spray our food down that way. And I and I think it has more lime oil, so sometimes I'll add more lime oil when I'm thinking about it. This I keep in my house. Whenever we come home from wherever we've been, my number one protection for my family, and, and I think the FDA and the CDC would agree with me on this, is to wash your hands. And so we come yeah. home, the kids got to wash their hands. And that's, I mean, I think it's a really big thing that plays into us not getting sick. Um, Jackson yeah, just have, told me, like, I have pea soap. Go, go ahead. You like it too? No, I have pea soaps in all my bathrooms. All, all my bathrooms. Yeah. I love it. I love the smell. Jackson, and even when people come over and they wash their hands, they say, well, I love that soap that's in your bathroom. You <laughs> he's he's going to, he wants to come over and tell us about what you said about these cough drops. They're strong. <laughs> they are. They're, they're pretty, strong. They're pretty spicy, but he likes to be on video, and he was just making a really good comment about this earlier. Don't waste your money on other ones. These are the only. Ones yeah, that's that, a good. These are the only ones that work. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he was needing a cough drop earlier today, and we've got a big bowl of some that Daddy brought home as samples from the health food store. And Jackson's like, I don't even bother with those other ones. This is the only one that actually helps my sore throat. And I can say that because it says it on the packaging. <laughs> it does. They really do. The fact is, whenever I take one of those thieves, I keep the plastic wrapper because after half of it, I can put it back in the wrapper and eat it again later because it's so strong. Yeah. It really helps. Yeah. Okay. So those are some of our favorites there. And I'm sure uh, you guys have some too. If you post it, you tell us what you guys like to use the Thieves products for. Um, again, it has the Thieves laundry soap, the dish soap, and the fruit veggie stuff. That's all so on this uh, graphic here. I wish I could show the graphics. It's kind of cool. But really, I'm coming, I'm winding down to the end here of the, um, of everything that they have on this so is on your part, you've got the one from Vital 180, Leah. Do they have any other ones that are different? Oh, actually it was, it followed kind of a similar pattern, but a few of the oils that, you know, I s tossed in there were in there. Um, and then it talked about some of the other um, body care and a few d different supplements. The only other thing I thought I'd toss in is um, Ninja Nitro. To get some Ninja Nitro, that's definitely on one of my top favorites list. I don't know where that falls, if it's just a Ninja product or if it's a supplement product. You got some Ninja in your starter kit, so I don't know if that really counts either. You guys need to like give yourself the opportunity to do a whole 30-day challenge with it. A lot of you were smart and got it when it went on sale with the Red Shot, and you got the Nitro, and that's awesome. <laughs> give yourself a good 30 days doing that yeah. and and you will see a difference especially at, like everything you know it's gradual as you feel it go up but then when you take it away you're like oh wait i missed the way i was feeling you really do notice yeah. the difference what did sabrina say my i've been taking I, i've been got the fees. oh good yes i've been taking ninja red for about three years i love ninja and I'll tell you what, when I first started taking it, I thought, I don't feel no different. This stuff's expensive, and I don't, you know, I just don't feel any different. And I took it for about a month, and I really, well, I told you, well, you know this. I finally, I, I quit biting my nails after 50-odd years. It was like 56 years I bit my nails down to the nubs. I mean, horrible, just nerves. And I noticed that I had quit biting my nails after all that time. I started getting whites is what it is. And it was like, wow, that's amazing. I knew that I had felt different inside from it, but I, I don't know if I wanted to give it credit because it's just a drink. Yeah. But then I came to your house one time and um, I, I didn't bring some or something, but I was without it. And so I was without it for like five days. You didn't have it or something. I don't remember exactly but I did not have it. And boy, I felt like a slug. It just, at my energy level went so far down. I didn't realize yeah. how much it was doing until I didn't have yeah. it. So it's, it's amazing stuff. I take it every single day. I start out my day with it. And sometimes if I know my night's going to go long, I'll have another one in the afternoon too. Another one, when I say that, you guys have all seen my drink. Yeah, I do, you know, three to four ounces and I put water and oils and everything in it and make it a drink. Um, and it's wonderful. I just, I love what it does for me. And it helps me think more clearly. Yeah. It gives me more focus. 
uh, it's just amazing stuff. It yeah. really is. So, so Ninja Red, Ninja Nitro, there's an essential rewards yes. Ningxia kit. That's what we usually yeah. go with to get enough for our family. Yeah. And it gives you the four mm -hmm. bottles of Ningxia plus the 30 packets, which are two ounces a piece, which are great for on the go. I like my husband doesn't always get to um, get his before he leaves for work. And so he keeps a couple in his briefcase. So I'll always kind of have it on hand or he'll keep them in his desk drawer at work just so he could keep that up for his, his system. We all need it for, I mean, antioxidants are really great stress support. So like you said, with the, with the nail biting, that is just a symptom of us being under stress. Really you're under stress. So we need yeah. to support our body as we go through that. Just not one of us isn't under stress anymore. I don't think anybody could say that. And you know what I wanted to say, and this is a whole different class, and I'd like to do this, and actually I'm doing one here next Friday, is about the whole digestion. If you've got nerve problems and you've got things going on where you are very anxious and you have a lot of anxiety, it all stems from your gut. You're not assimilating the nutrients that you need to calm down those energies. And so <clears throat> that's why we need to supplement with so many different things. And we're going to get off on that another time. But, I, you know, with the Ninja Red uh, and the, you know, detox whatever the um, essential signs and all those things help me to assimilate uh, better than I would just on my own. And so that's helped me too with my nails, with everything here, with everything. So uh, I don't know. I just, I can't, I love young living. I'm so glad they came into my life. It's just amazing. Uh, it's just, uh, I'm not just trying to sell this stuff. I use it. I use it every single day in my life. And I like to, uh, you know, my whole family does now. Yeah. And uh, it's made such a huge difference, really. Um, but I just bought that kit, too. In fact, I've been waiting for it, the Ninja Red kit, yeah. because it's a better deal. And you buy the four bottles and you oh, get yeah. the packets, because I've been traveling a lot. It, and so it's just a better deal. You get the... the it, and that really brings us to a good point, is um, the Essential Rewards program itself is designed for the loyal customer. Um, you guys don't, there's no, there's no fee to be on it. There's no like requirement to stay on it. You don't get fined if you decide that, you know, this month you don't want to do it anymore. It doesn't work that way. It's just a perk for the loyal customer that wants to place a regular order. And so what they've done is, for example, the Ning Red Essential Rewards kit, the price per ounce for the Ninja Red you get in that kit is less than if you buy an eight pack of the bottles. It really is the best price mm -hmm. per ounce for the Ninja Red, and they do that on purpose. Um, the same with yeah. the Thieves, um, the uh, the Thieves Essential Rewards Kit is the best price yeah. that you're going to get on the Thieves products is through the Essential Rewards program. And, and we're not even talking about the extra oils that you get as freebies. That's what, when I got my abundance was uh, this one here is a freebie. Um, but I get probably, what, $250 of free products every month. And on top of that, you get percentage back into like a little account that you could spend on any products you want. So right now I'm up to 25%. Yeah. That's a, I mean, I place easily $300 every month. So we're talking 75, 80 bucks of free products that I'm generally getting every month. That's pretty much like I get what I want. And then I get two bottles of Thyromin for free every month to support my husband and my endocrine system. And it's really a great stress support. So I would mm -hmm. encourage everybody, even if you don't know that it's something you want to do for the long haul, as you're building up your uh, I don't know, reservoir of, of young living needs, your oily needs, and filling up on the things that you uh, want to get for your family, the Nature Red and the Thieves Kit, get them through Essential Rewards because you're getting them discounted. You're getting money back, well, at least points back to spend, which is like free money, and you're getting free products with it. And your they do they chip in for your shipping yeah. so your shipping's a little cheaper too yeah exactly so, yeah it's awesome you know I, I I didn't join the very first month that I joined I thought no er I don't need any of that you know but the very next month I got on it I've been on it ever since mm -hmm. um, I knew when I started I wanted to start making some life changes and, and cleaning up my environment around my house and and you know you and and you had the babies and they were going through some stuff and I knew that this would help and everything that we did. Uh, you know, ER has been a real blessing, actually, because it's given me so much free stuff. Yeah. You know, so 
even though I've put out, and it seems like a lot, you know, for most people, $300, oh my God, that's like a car payment or something. But I'll tell you what, it's keeping my body running and making me feel a whole lot better than I was before I started using Young Living. And uh, my attitude, my everything, my emotions are much more in check. I, just everything about me has changed with Young Living. So I, I, I'm happy to be a loyal member. <laughs> I was talking to another member who was comparing this fall with how many, and, and this is not saying that it's, it's just essential oils, but supporting all your body systems when they're under stress, supporting your immune system, especially through this time of year. She had so many sick days last year, she got fired from her job. Um, and this year she took yeah. one sick day and it was because she got a stomach bug, went home of course, and it oiled up so she'd feel better. Yeah. What a difference. So we could talk about the money that we're spending, or we could talk about all the money we're saving. <laughs> yeah. And that's really, well, you know, when I started out, I, when I started out, I told you I'd been putting thieves on my uh, areas right here and I've been putting it in my, uh, well, the vitality one, I've been putting it in my throat all day long. Um, and I, I just, I love, I love what it does for me. Mm -hmm. You know, I haven't had a doctor visit in a long time. Yeah. Um, because I'm, I'm trying to prevent rather than wait till I'm sick to go in. Well, and, and so, really that's yeah. what Young Living is about is we want to stay, we always use this expression. You guys are probably, what is she talking about? Yeah. We want to stay above the wellness line. So, and, and this right. is the area we could talk about all day long, you know, staying healthy, keeping our bodies supported. And, and a lot of it is, uh, we don't even give credit to the OS. These doesn't do it. Our bodies do it. We are just giving our bodies the support it needs to to be strong and to work itself through those areas, especially, I think the number one thing is stress that gets to all of us. And it's the supporting our bodies through through stress and through um, the changes of the seasons and all of that really um, makes all the difference in our wellness. Yeah, you know, that's what I was gonna say before and I got off and forgot was that um, when your stress level is high, your digestion is low. Absolutely. You can't digest because all your energy is going to the stress. And so everything gets shut down. You're not getting the nutrients you need. So your brain's getting foggy. Mm -hmm. All the things are from your gut. When stress levels are high, everything else is being targeted uh, to be unhealthy. And so we have to try to learn to keep that stress level down and, um, so that we can be on the, the above the wellness line. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. Well, it's okay. So <laughs> next time you guys go to reorder, maybe some of these products or something else you've heard us talking about on the Facebook page, you're writing it all in your wish list. When you go to reorder, look at the essential rewards tab. Um, there's the quick order tab, which is kind of like a regular order that you'd place, and then there's the essential rewards. When you go in there, it'll walk you through it. You can actually change what you're getting every single month. It's not like you're locked into what you're getting. You can even and change the date if you need to so you could alter it so it's close to payday if you want or I like to have it close to the day young living pays us so you alter it to fit that schedule and and you get just what you need which is fantastic mm -hmm. if you have any trouble with yeah. the virtual office I know some people are like oh technology just contact Julie or me or whoever enrolled you they could all walk you through it chances are they're probably on essential rewards anyways yeah. And you know what? If you can get into the virtual office and you go into the member resource tab, there's a couple documents in there that are easy read. One's called the Facts of Essential Rewards, F FAQ. Uh, so any questions that you might have about Essential Rewards, it's all answered in there. And actually, when I sign somebody up the first week, I walk them through the website and take them to those. I don't sit there and read them and I don't make them read them then. But I do ask them to do that as a homework to read about essential rewards and understand what it means. Because if they're going to order a quick order and they put it, say, say they do a $200 order. Yeah. And then later on, they could have gotten 20 points back, number one, and they could have gotten like three freebie oils. Yeah. And they come and say, well, why didn't I know that? Well, you either didn't do the homework that I told you to do or, or you just missed out somehow. I don't know. But, you know, so go in there and read about the essential rewards under member resources um, because, uh, there's just too many perks to give up mm -hmm. if you're going to be ordering on a monthly. If you're really trying to change your health and the health of your family and the environment that you're living in, that's the way to do it. Anyway, it has been long enough. I don't know how long we've actually been on, but um, it's been a it's been a roll. 
been about an I hour. I appreciate everybody who's been on here. Huh? I think it's been about an hour. Perfect timing. Thank you. Anybody Mama. got any questions? You got a you got a favorite you got a favorite thing, um, Sabrina, that you like, you love, your mother. I know she's she's doing oils too. I don't know if she's still on here. I'm not sure. It doesn't tell me who's oh, on. Uh, so if you scroll screen. over, sometimes you can see who's on there, but I can't really scroll. Over. Yeah, it doesn't always say. Right now, know? I can see Sabrina or Monica. So some of the questions I sometimes get um, regarding essential rewards is just that if I'm if I haven't been on the program yet, how long you know do I need to be on to reach the next tier percentage level? So you get 10% for the first three months. So starting in your fourth month, it jumps up to 20%, which is awesome. And you'll hold there at 20% until you start your um, the, the first month of your third year. So two full years, you'd be at 20%, and then you'd go up to 25%, which is where I'm at right now. Yeah. That's one of the most so things. you put a $100 order in, you're getting $20 back. Yeah. At, at, well, at 20%. At 20%. You know? Mm -hmm. And, you know, $10 back at 10%. That's so you're getting, you know, it's just free money. It pays for your shipping, uh, whatever. But you're also getting a free oil yep. at that point, too. That's awesome. So, anyway, I, I think we're good. It's been really nice. And it's just been easy. I love doing these on Friday. It's easy because I my Friday nights are usually home anyway. So, and now you know how to upload this and everything and, and do this to, uh, so that we could share it if we want. Yep. I'll make sure to post it on YouTube and you guys are welcome to share it with anybody that wasn't on Facebook. Cause we know we can't quite reach everybody. Any other, you know, there's no one efficient way. So we'll try to. Yeah. Sound good? Yeah. There you go. Okay. So you, you tell me and show me how send me the link so I can send it to some of the friends that I have that aren't on Facebook. Awesome. Sounds good. Thanks mom. All right. I love you guys. I thank you, Leah, for coming on tonight and, and everybody else who was here. I hope you guys uh, have a wonderful weekend. Okay? I'll see you. Bye.